Hey everyone, Michael here, and in this video, we'll be talking about how to set up your shipping rates in Shopify that will work for dropshipping and print-on-demand. This is very important that you get right, or else it will screw up your shipping rates and your customers won't be very happy. So let me go ahead and pull up my browser right now. So I just logged into my demo account, and I went to the shipping section inside Shopify, and this is the screen that you're seeing right now. Now, before I talk about the shipping rates, I want to bring your attention down to packages. When you first create your Shopify store, sometimes when you go to this section, there's a weird number over here. So make sure you zero this out or else you'll mess up your shipping rates. So once that is done, I normally delete everything and start from scratch. Now with this demo account, I did not set up the international shipping just yet. But let's take a look at the United States shipping. So let's go in and click on edit over here. And once we're logged in, you can see how I set this up. First, you can see that I have this price-based shipping right here and I have set a free shipping rate over here. So what this means is that anyone who spends $75 and up, they will receive free shipping. Now, I only do this for the United States. If it's international, I might do $100 or $120 and up before they get free shipping. So that is the price-based rates. But when I adjust my rates on my product page, I use the weight-based rates. So I set everything in pounds over here, but it depends on what you're comfortable with. You can do kg, but pounds is easier for me to reflect that on my product page. But here's a sample of my weight-based rates over here. First, I want to set a free shipping promo. So whenever I put a zero inside my product page, anyone who checks out will get a free shipping promo. So they won't be charged for shipping. And then the first 0 0.1 pound to 0 0.1 pound, I just want to show you what it looks like. So I named it standard shipping. And for minimum weight, I put 0 0.1 pound. And the maximum weight, I also put 0 0.1 pound. So this is for one product. And the rate I have here is 4.99. Now, you can play around with this shipping rate. Sometimes 3.99 works better, sometimes 4.99 or in between. You really have to play around with the shipping rate to see what works best for you and know what your suppliers are charging you, okay? So these are the print-on-demand shipping rates and it will work with dropshipping as well. But my rates may be a little different because I tailored my rates with my supplier, which is Print Tech. And each additional product that gets added to cart and shipped, there's a discount for the shipping rate, all right? So what you see here is 0 0.1 is for one product, and when they add two product, it will be 0 0.2. And three product will be 0 0.3, and you see the shipping rate over here that increases, okay? So always make sure what your suppliers are charging before you set these rates. These are just sample rates for you to see how I set mine up. And when it hits 0 0.3, it's 9.95. So typically a free plus shipping item is 9.95. So for all my free shipping items, I'm going to put a 0 0.3 pound inside the product page. All right, again, for my print on demand, I will start off with 0 0.1. And for my drop shipping product that is free plus shipping, I might put 0 0.3. And if they add two free plus shipping items, the shipping goes up to 16.95. All right. So I don't want to go through everything. You can screenshot this and set it up and adjust the rates accordingly to what works best for you. But if you're doing drop shipping and if you're offering free plus shipping, I recommend you look into this app over here called Order Limits. So with this app, you basically set a limit on how many orders a person can order at once so they don't game the system. So they don't order a thousand products and just pay 10 depending on what your product rate is. All right, so if you're doing free plus shipping, have this installed and set up properly. So the shipping rates I have here is pretty standard, but if you need more advanced rules, then you need to look into getting better shipping app. Now, better shipping app will let you do different adjustments to individual products, which will be really useful in some cases, but I don't use this app myself personally, but you can look into it. The downside about this app when I was using it, you need to have either the standard plan or you need to have basic plan with your real time shipping turned on. All right, so if you need more advanced plan, definitely give them a try. If not, 
Here is the standard shipping rate for United States. Now for international, it will be very similar. You just have to increase these prices according to your supplier rates. All right. So that is it for our shipping rate for both dropshipping and print on demand. I hope this was useful. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that notification bell to get all my latest updates. With that, I'll see you on the next one.